to groom a dog. Just like humans, dogs need daily grooming to keep them clean and healthy. An ill-groomed dog is more prone to yeast infections, which can breed in matted fur. Ear infections can also result in excessive wax buildup, and without regular cleaning, your dog could lose his teeth to periodontal disease. Unless you are willing to pay for professional grooming at least once a week, it's a good idea to know how to groom a dog so you can do it at home. Grooming your dog depends on his breed. Short-haired dogs do not require as much maintenance as medium or long-haired ones. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to groom a dog. 1. Before you begin, make sure that you have all the needed supplies. You can pick most of these up in your local pet care shop. You will need a fur brush, a dog nail cutter, some clean cotton swabs to clean the eyes and ears, ear cleaning medication and cotton balls to apply it, some rubbing alcohol, dog-specific tooth cleaning solution and toothbrush, dog shampoo, towels, a pair of grooming shears, and a hair dryer. 2. Start by brushing your dog's fur thoroughly but gently. This will take any matting off so that you can groom more easily and painlessly. Once the fur gets wet, any tangles are bound to be even more unmanageable, and this can be rather painful for your pet. The whole process will really be a whole lot more pleasant if you prep the fur first. 3. If you find large areas of fur that are just too matted, cut them off. For long-haired pets, give your dog a nice haircut that's appropriate for this breed. You may want to bring them to a grooming shop for their first cut, and then simply maintain it weekly by trimming where necessary. 4. Using clean cotton swabs, clean out any gunk around your pet's eyes. You may observe some long hair around the eye area which causes tear stains to collect, but never attempt to trim this yourself. You have to have a vet do that. 5. Warm up the ear cleaning medication by partially immersing it in some warm water. Any cold liquid which gets in a dog's ear is highly uncomfortable for him, and it can cause him to struggle during the rest of the grooming process. Warmed rubbing alcohol drops could also work too. Use cotton swabs and cotton balls to apply the medication and then clean out wax and dirt. Use more cotton to dry out the ear. 6. Brush your dog's teeth well. Dogs need tooth cleaning at least every other day, but if you don't have time to do this, you can use an antimicrobial spray in between weekly brushings. 7. Trim your dog's nails using dog clippers. Ordinary nail cutters can also be used for the very young or very small dogs whose nails are not that tough. Just cut off about 1 16th of an inch from the tips. If you cut too much and end up hitting a blood vessel, do first aid with some cornstarch and press the nail down until the bleeding stops. 8. Give your dog a bath. If you can do it without using a tub, this is better so that he does not need to soak in dirty bath water. Use dog shampoo moderately and rub the roots of the hair to get oils and dirt off from the skin underneath. Make sure that you completely rinse off all shampoo residue because if left on the fur and skin, it can be highly irritating. 9. Dry off your dog as well as you can and pay particular attention to areas like between the toes and creases. Blow dry your dog using the cool setting and leave off his collar for about 12 hours. 10. Once the dog's hair has been blow dried, give it a final brushing. A responsible dog owner knows how to groom a dog gently and properly. Grooming is not only crucial for your pet's health and well-being, it's actually a good way to bond together. So, whenever possible, opt to do it yourself, rather than pay to have it done by someone else.